It sounds like it comes from the dirtiest side of D.C. politics. Big money, spying, illegal GPS tracking, all aimed at seizing power and destroying careers. But this story comes from Helen Dale Beach, and as Bob Norman exclusively reports, there's been a major break in what is now a criminal case. I have PIs following me around. Hallandale Beach Commissioner Annabelle Taub insisted she was being trailed during the last election. We felt like people were following us. So did Commissioners Keith London and Michelle Lazaro, prompting London to lash out at his top foe, Hallandale Mayor Joy Cooper. Who's paying for the PI that's following me around, Mayor? It sounded like political paranoia. Let's see who's following me. But then London seemed to catch someone in the act. Seems like you're following me. I'm not following you. He got it on his cell phone. It's true, I was skeptical, but then I ran a check on the license plate seen in the video, and sure enough, it came back to a private investigator. What's the problem? The no PI problem. on the video, Victor L. Bees, was employed at a Hallandale Beach firm called General Investigation Services and denied he was following the politicians. Boom, Velcro. But then a startling discovery. Boom, there it is. GPS tracking devices have been placed under their cars without their permission, a crime in Florida. Is all fair in politics? No. Illegal activity is illegal activity. It's a culture of corruption, and this is what they do. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement investigated and allegedly found Elbiz's fingerprints on one of the trackers. Elbiz is set to be arraigned on November 20th on a misdemeanor charge punishable by up to a year in jail. I tried to find the firm's owner, Steve Cohen, shown in this grainy photo, a mysterious Russian national who recently changed his name from Stanislav Dudnik. Cohen wasn't at his office, so I tried his home. His ex-wife took umbrage. Is Mr. Uh, Stanislav Dudnik here? Yes, I'm called police. No, no, you don't have to call the police. We just want to talk to Mr. Cohen. Cohen then called me and refused to say who hired his firm to follow the politicians, but said he never ordered anyone to do anything illegal. I'm not following you. Okay, no LB's problem. too refused comment, but said he would explain when his case was over. Michelle says she wants to improve traffic. The commissioners say a clue to who paid for the P.I. likely comes from these 2016 campaign ads, which actually show surveillance video of Lazaro in London. The ads were funded with roughly $375,000 tied to the city's diplomat golf and tennis course. The diplomat has a controversial $450 million project in the city and was backing the opponents of Taub and Lazaro. Diplomat Principal Lewis Birdman denied knowledge of the surveillance last year. Hi, Lewis. I'm and didn't return my message this tracking. week. Did you order the illegal tracking of politicians in Hallandale Beach? But the trio also point the finger at Mayor Cooper. Did you have anything to do with the illegal tracking of your colleagues? Absolutely not. Cooper no. admits, though, that she had a private investigator run a background report on Taub, but says it was not tied to Cohen. Can you tell me who the private eye that ran that I report? will not disclose that. A lot of people find it hard to believe that you wouldn't have at least knowledge of what was going on in this campaign that was so important to you. Knowledge of what? I worked at polls. That's what I did. I was in California during half this adventure. And there is no evidence tying the mayor to those GPS trackers. Hopefully we'll find out more at the November 20th arraignment. In the video port, I'm Bob Norman, Local 10 News. Okay, Bob, thanks a lot. LB's his attorney, Bruce Lyons, confirmed his client has given a sworn statement to prosecutors and, quote, told the truth about exactly what happened. As for Julian, the state attorney's office said it did not have enough evidence to charge him with a crime in the diplomat case.